Could you please welcome um, speaker seven, Isaac Akaiba, Pa Tapito and Waikato, the interface of Mataranga Māori and archaeology. Two to three hundred years after Polynesian voyagers reached Aotearoa, their descendants began constructing pa. These were fortified settlements, food stores, and places of refuge that were defended by wooden walls, natural obstacles, and ditches and banks. <clears throat> there are hundreds of pa throughout Waikato and some 7,000 recorded across the country. The left-hand image is an example of what they used to look like. It's a painting of Kaito Te He Pa in Taupere from 200 years ago when Te Whero Whero occupied it before becoming the first Māori king. I live in Te Papanui, Claudelands, next to another pa called Merupiko of Ngāti Wairere. The right hand image shows the ditch and bank defences that still remain there. These pa, like so many others along the Waikato River, give meaning to the pepeha or tribal saying, He piko he tanifa, he piko he tanifa, Waikato tanifarau. For each bend of the river, a tanifa, a chief, a pa. Pa are manifestations of one's ancestors, each with kōrero tukuiho, narratives handed from generation to generation, carved into whareniwi, sung at kapahaka, and recounted by kōros and aunties. They are also archaeological sites. The scientific study of their physical remains can teach us more about when and why they were constructed. My PhD sits within a broader Marsden-fronted project, looking at the interface between Mātauranga Māori and archaeology to understand when and why pā were constructed and how descendant communities relate to them today. I am a Pākaha Māori, descendant of Tainui, archaeologist and student of Mātauranga Māori, and so in this way I'm working between different identities and different worlds. I'm working with mana whenua, those descendants who hold the authority and knowledge about these places. I'm collating two wahi, whakapapa, pūrāko, place names, genealogies and proverbs, uh, narratives that tell us when and why power constructed. We will then interface this with radiocarbon dates taken from wooden walls that once defended people, pa and thū. We are showcasing the value of mātauranga Māori alongside archaeological science to understand the past and recognise the, the value of historic of sites, the value of significant sites to our society. Such demonstrations are essential as cultural and historical values are constantly measured up against urban and rural developments that threaten their existence. So perhaps on your next walk, you might consider ngā tapuwai o ngā tupuna, the footprints of the ancestors who walked there before. <clears throat> 